I'm Greg Wilson. I'm a paleontologist. Paleontology is one of the greatest detective stories in biology. You have very limited number of clues to be able to piece together an event that may have happened millions and millions of years ago. But these are dramatically important events that have shaped the history of life. The research that we're doing centers around the Cretaceous tertiary mass extinction event. And this is the event in which all dinosaurs except birds went extinct. And this is abbreviated as the KT extinction. I ask, how did the dinosaurs go extinct at this important time? I also ask questions like, why were mammals, a group that lived alongside dinosaurs, why were they able to survive this catastrophe? And what allowed them to diversify and become the dominant groups of animals on land? With those research questions, we go out into the field into northeastern Montana. I love going out into the field. The food sometimes isn't terrific. Um, the hikes are beautiful. Um, and just the idea of being able to find something that's been sitting on the ground for more than 60 million years, and, and you being the first to discover it, uh, is really just plain exhilarating. The research questions that I'm approaching relate to one of the greatest extinctions in Earth history. And those can really impact what some biologists are today calling the sixth mass extinction. And that's our modern biotic crisis where species are going extinct at a very high rate. So by studying these past extinctions in the fossil record, in this case, when the dinosaurs went extinct, we can get a sense of that process that leads to a major extinction event and how the animals and the plants and the ecosystems recover from such an event and perhaps manage our current crisis that may lead to another extinction event.